Good morning, everybody, and welcome to The Point. It is Tuesday, August 15th. I am in for Cameron as he's playing in the PA State Open this morning, so good luck to him. It's about time I helped him out with this note anyways, as he's been uh, doing a great job over the last few months. So let's get right into it. U.S. futures are continuing higher this morning. Following yesterday's trend, that's only 1% gain in the S&P 500, helped by a 1.59% gain in the technology sector. European markets pushed higher yesterday and are continuing the trend today with Germany and the UK both seeing a 30 basis point gain. The stock Euro 600 index as a whole is 10 basis points higher. Markets in Asia saw solid gains with Japan's topic index finishing 1.1% higher. China's Shanghai Composite saw a day in the green while Hong Kong realized a small loss. Australia's S&P ASX 200 index gained half a percent while markets in South Korea and India were closed for a holiday. The bond market stayed solid again with U.S. Treasuries pushing up three basis points to 2.25%. Britain's 10-year yield saw the same trend, while Germany added two basis points to 43 basis points total. Under currencies and commodities, gold dropped 0.6% as crude oil has gained 20 basis points this morning to help after yesterday's loss that saw the price fall well below $48 per barrel. The U.S. dollar edged higher for a second straight day as comments from Fed's William Dudley signaled another interest rate hike this year. The euro fell 20 basis points, while the pound dropped 40 basis points, pushing it to its lowest point in over a month, after inflation data unexpectedly held steady in July. The Japanese yen lost 70 basis points as investors saw a lower threat from North Korea. Politics and the like, President Trump has lost three more CEOs from his White House Business Advisory Group, Under Armour's Kevin Plank, Intel's Brian Rankovich, along with Merck and Company's Kenneth Frazier. Lastly, today, U.S. retail sales are up for July with an 8.30 a.m. announcement slating for a 30 basis point rise. Very quickly, not a lot going on in the sports world. We have Duke getting the number one recruit, and the Pirates beginning six important, six important games against the Brewers and Cardinals tonight, with them um, being four and a half games back of the division-leading Cubs. Very quickly, um, I know we've been kind of strictly on the news, but I wanted to jump in just a quick snapshot of the markets. Yesterday, great day, S&P 500 up a percent, NASDAQ uh, up uh, 134 basis points, but week over week, markets still down, month over month rather flat. So uh, yesterday, really nothing to be excited about. We're seeing a little bit more volatility. I think some of the North Korea fears are easing, but you have... You know, William Dudley talking about uh, expectations of an interest rate hike, but it's been a very slow and quiet summer, and we expect to see some more volatility on the horizon as we inch closer to the fall. But um, this has been the point for Tuesday, August 15th. I enjoyed being with you, and I will talk with you all tomorrow. Have a great day.